Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about when is it the best time to start your own dental hygiene practice? Well, I'll tell you a little secret spoiler alert right away. There's never a wrong time and there's never a good time. Just do it, okay? I'm serious, just do it. I hear a lot of hygienists, they are wonderful. They're asking me tons of questions. They have everything organized, but then they don't actually start their practice for two years. You guys, it doesn't take that long. When I first started um, thinking about just opening up my own dental hygiene practice was because my grandparents were in a nursing home and I wanted to clean their teeth. There was no mobile hygienists in the area, so I wanted to help them. I was looking on Amazon, just kind of pricing things out, looking up companies. There wasn't a course like mine that actually kind of showed me and told me what to do, so I was doing it all on my own, which is why I did create this course because gosh, you have a lot of questions, don't you? And hopefully I have been able to help a lot of you guys. But I literally was looking up things, making phone calls. I booked an appointment with the bank the next week to take out a business loan. I didn't really know how much I needed yet, but I was doing the research as I was booking the appointment. I had it all said and done within two weeks, you guys. A month fully to get all of my equipment and things delivered to me, but I was getting the ball rolling within two weeks, such as getting the business loan, getting a business credit card, signing up for what's called a master business license. I was getting things organized in my Excel spreadsheets. I was thinking, how do I want to keep track of my business? I had purchased QuickBooks, which I have left the link here for you guys. I was looking into dental softwares, which I didn't get right away. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know why I didn't get it right away, because I thought they were too expensive. And then I was so happy when I finally got it, it changed everything, but watch the videos on that for sure. But everything was all set into motion. I had a Facebook page right away where I started advertising. Who's heard of mobile dental hygiene? I'm opening up my own practice soon. Stay tuned. I was in, I was ready. What I find a lot of hygienists are worried about, which is fair, but you're worried about the money. You're worried about spending the money and not getting the money back. You're worried about, oh goodness, am I not gonna get patients? How is this gonna work? Put those fears aside, you guys, I swear. Anything good is gonna make you nervous. Think of when you went to dental hygiene school. Heck, I was nervous, I hated it every day. It was the best thing ever because then you can't become a hygienist, right? So you have to do it. So I do understand your nerves. This course is great because I am here to help you guys, okay? Tell me what's making you nervous. Just do it, just do it. Like I can't say that enough. That's what I did. I have never looked back. Things don't start off strong right away. As I mentioned in several videos, it just depends on how you want to do things. I did have a part-time job still working at a dental office, but then a year later, I was able to just do it full-time and I'm so busy. I don't even think I can take time off for the holidays. I can, but usually I take a couple weeks off actually before Christmas, because I'm that person that loves Christmas. I can't even do that because I'm getting so many new patients that want to be seen now that if I don't see them, I'm worried they might go somewhere else. So I'm going to do whatever I can. So don't think about it too much. Go through the course, get the ball rolling. No rush though, of course, you know, do things at your own pace. But if something's holding you back, if you keep saying to yourself, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm not going to make enough money. Too bad, you're going to do it. Don't worry about it. If you're thinking, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm not going to get any patients, you will get patients. I'm here to help, so just do it. So you get the idea? Don't worry about it. Just do it. If you need help, guess what? I'm here. And I look forward to a lot of mobile dental hygienists out there. Okay, guys? I will talk to you very soon.